Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on factorising quadratics. This is the second video on this topic, so if you've not watched the first one, then I highly recommend you watch that first uh, because it's going to give you some context and explain how we're going to factorise each of the expressions that we'll see in this video. So here we're going to be looking at quadratics where a equals 1. What do we mean by this? Uh, well, the quadratic expression is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So here a is 1, uh, so this makes factorising quadratics much simpler. Uh, but let's look at this example then. We have x squared minus 3x plus 2. So let's write this out. x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now, the trick with factorising is we want to look for two numbers which multiply to give uh, 2 and add together to give minus 3. Uh, so those are going to be what's in our brackets alongside x. So we're going to have x and x in each bracket. Uh, but here we need two numbers which multiply to give positive 2 and add together to give negative 3. So if, uh, if they multiply to give a positive number but add to give a negative number, then the two must be negative. So we're going to have x minus something in each brackets. So this is subtract b from the first video if you've watched that. So now we just need to look for the factors of 2 which add to give uh, minus 3. So that's going to be minus 2 and minus 1. So if you add uh, minus 2x and minus 1x together, you get minus 3x. And when you multiply minus 2 and minus 1 together, you get plus 2. So let's move on now uh, to look at another example. So here we have an expression x squared minus x minus 12. And we're looking for two numbers here that multiply to give minus 12 and add together to give minus x. So we're going to have x plus something and x minus something. Uh, so this is subtype C if you've watched the first video. So that means C is negative. So the only combination of numbers that gives a minus number when multiplied together is a positive and a negative number. So that's why we have x plus and x minus in each bracket. So the numbers that we're going to need uh, have to multiply to give minus 12. Uh, so those numbers are going to be minus 4 and plus 3. Uh, now the reason this is, is because when you add uh, minus 4x and plus 3x together, you should get minus x. So if b is also negative, uh, then the larger of the two numbers will have to be the negative number. So 4 is larger than 3, so therefore uh, the 4 has to be the negative number. So if you're feeling confident about factorising quadratics, then you can get some practice in with our online exam. So this is available through our revision platform. So here you'll find a load of different questions to have a go at, and you'll receive instant feedback uh, allowing you to work out where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested, uh, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.